Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Cameron back once again, bringing you guys a brand new video today. I have a good one for you guys today. We're actually going to be unboxing the Moto Z Force new smartphone from Motorola. Uh, and it's a partnership with Lenovo. Now, in this line of uh, new smartphones, they have the Motorola Z Force and then the regular Motorola Z Droid Edition. And the Motorola Z Force that I have right here for you guys today is the more expensive, more upgraded version. It has a higher megapixel camera. The battery life is better, and I think it does have a shatterproof display. So it's a little bit of an upgrade from just the Motorola Droid Edition. This retails on their website for $720. That's off contract. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, visit the link in the description down below. I'll have a link to the non-contract one and then the one with a contract. So check down there to find out how, that mu how much that is. I'll include all that information down below. Let me swap up the camera angle. We'll take this thing out the box and I'll give you my first impressions after booting it up. All right, guys, so as you can see, we do have the Moto Z Droid Force. And like I said, this is the Force Edition. I'm very excited to get this out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it and open it up. I don't want to waste any time. Now, this is a Verizon-only phone, I do believe. So you're only going to be able to get this on Verizon, which is convenient because I am on Verizon. So I'm probably going to pop my SIM in here and just use this as my main phone for the next 30 days. But let's open it up and see what we're going to get inside. Um, as you can see right off the bat, we do have the phone on the very top. It does look very nice. Um, it has the amazing peel that everyone loves. You just peel that right off. Oh, it looks so perfect right now. This is the most perfect it's ever going to look. I guarantee it. it's going to get a fingerprint on there. We'll just ruin it right now. Touch it up. And then if we flip over to the back, it looks like we have a nice design as well. I'm going to save this just for one second. I want to show you what else comes in the box. Put this off to the side, but we're going to come back to this and talk more about it for a little bit before the video ends. Next up, we do have a wood grain back. And what this is, is part of the Moto Mods. And this phone is semi-modular. It's not fully modular, but it does offer some attachments that can attach to the back. What I'm going to go ahead and do is attach this on the back. And you can see we have these prongs right here. And it is magnetic. So watch this. All we do is we pop this on right here. And now we have a new back plate on the phone. So... It raises a little bit off the back, not too much, but uh, it's pretty cool that they do have this. It does offer a, you know, some extra options on top of the ones that you already have. So you can add a projector onto this. That's one of the Moto mods. You can add a speaker onto this. That's another one. Um, they also have a battery, and I'm sure they're going to have many more to come. So it's just another unique thing that sets us apart. So cool to see that on there. Like I said, I'm going to set this off the side, see what else we get. Um, inside of this, I'm assuming we get, yes, we're going to get a quick start guide meet the phone, how to set it up. I'm not even going to look at that. I don't need to know, but uh, you might want to take a look at it. Then we're going to get our wall connector. This is our USB type C turbo charger, I'm assuming. Um, and this is just supposed to charge the phone much faster than you would uh, be able to if you just had a regular power brick. This has the turbo charge, so it will go up faster. Then it looks like we have a Oh, Type-C connector to auxiliary cable. This is my this might be what we see with the new uh, iPhone. They might include something like this with a lightning connector. Uh, so in this case, this doesn't have an auxiliary uh, input. So they do include a USB Type-C to auxiliary function right there. And it looks like a... I'm not even sure what this is. Some kind of um, silicone connector right there. Maybe to... Maybe to wrap it around and keep it smaller. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, it is nice that they do include this uh, adapter. Finally, the last thing that we are going to get in the box is going to be our SIM card slot. So we're able to use this to pop out the SIM card if we required it. Um, I think if you have the unlocked version, which this is the unlocked one, you can pop in your own SIM card. So if I buy it off contract, we use this to pop out the SIM and pop in our own SIM. All right, so that's all you're going to get in the packaging. I'm going to move this off to the side and let's go ahead and boot this phone up and take a look at it. I want to give you guys my initial impressions on this and tell you what I think about it right off the bat. Let's talk for a second though about the design. I'm actually a huge fan of this design. I really like the way this phone feels. One of the problems I have with Android phones, a lot of them on the market are very plasticky and cheap feeling. Um, they may have higher specs on the inside than the iPhone, but in some circumstances, I like the iPhone better just based off the design um, and that it doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. This phone has a nice weight to it, in my opinion, and I feel like it's made of high quality material. It has a nice metal bezel around the entire phone. The back plate is uh, some type of aluminum or something like that. And then, like I said, it does have that shatterproof display. So right off the bat, they're using very high quality materials. And I like the weight of it just because it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. Uh, I just am not a huge fan of plasticky feel. So we got the phone booted up. 
Um, let's see. <clears throat> Everything feels responsive so far. I like the screen. Um, it looks very, very nice. The colors and everything look very detailed. Um, and we do have the fingerprint uh, input right here. It's supposed to be pretty good. I haven't set it up yet. I'll set it up for my full review. I just want to give you guys my initial impressions on this. Um, seems like everything boots up pretty fast, works pretty well. Let's see what the camera looks like. Okay, so not too bad. Flip it up. Saw it, dude. What's up? Okay, so not bad. I'm really liking it so far. Very responsive, very um, snappy. So I like that a lot. And really, like I said, my main complaint is just that a lot of Android phones feel cheap because they're plastic, but they are relatively cheaper than the iPhone, so I'm not surprised. But this one doesn't seem like it's cut any quarters. Motorola seems like they put out a high, you know, high quality material-wise phone. I haven't fully used it yet. This is my first time to actually boot it up and everything. So I'm going to be using it over the next 30 days, which is how long I have it for. And I'm going to bring you guys a full review, giving you my detailed opinion on this phone and what I think of after using it for 30 days. So far, I'm liking it a lot I like the design and everything like that but like I said I need to put it through its paces test it and use it as my daily phone for a little bit before I can formulate my opinions on it but anyways guys I do hope you enjoyed this unboxing video just a quick unprofessional video I just want to give you guys my first impressions uncensored unbiased so that is what I brought you guys today if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like rating on the video subscribe to the channel for more content I upload I do upload technology videos pretty regularly on my channel so if you are interested in that stay tuned for more of those um, and then leave a comment down below what I can improve on what you guys want to see my full review and um, some questions that you may have about this phone anyways thanks so much for watching guys I do hope you enjoy this has been camera reviews and I will catch you guys in my next video see ya